six and a half hours later. Harold Post We saw that our friend here has failed the test. But the question is why? You would think that he would know the material. He's been studying for it. What should we do? Let's look into his thoughts. Six and a half hours later. I know, I don't think I got any but I kind of have to turn in. Class is almost over. I know that teacher hates me, so I hope I get a somewhat easy grade. Harold Post. Uh oh, he's calling for me. This can't be good. I'm afraid to look. There goes getting back my phone. You know what? I'm, I'm just done with all this. I'm, I don't even want this. I'm so sorry. This was an example of anxiety. See, that is most commonly found in teens. Anxiety is your body's reaction to stress. How we explain this to little kids is butterflies in the stomach which you are all probably familiar with. There are also other types of, of anxiety, that, but the most common one is GAD, which we will get to in a moment. There are also other types, but that's for later. Anxiety has four major topics. These include GAD, the other types of anxiety, as well as identifying anxiety and treatments and therapies for this. Now, we move. So, um, GAD is actually the most common type of anxiety. It's the one everybody thinks of, even though you might not know what it's called. It's anxiety that isn't really linked to a particular situation or event. So, you know, you could just be anxious in general. That's what GAD basically is. So, I think now, Let's go into what the subtopics are. Along with GAD, there are many other different types of anxiety disorders. One of the most common ones is excessive, excessive compulsion disorder. OCD is, um, well, a lot of people know about OCD, just they don't know it's a type of anxiety. Basically, um, you have to do something, in your opinion, you have to do something just right, or something has to be done just right or else, you know, you're gonna feel uneasy or upset or, you know, you're gonna make somebody do it over and over again until they get it right, you know, kinda like my brother. Along with OCD, there's lots of panic disorders, phobias, and PTSD. Phobias are general fears of things such as heights, color, hair bulbs, or other such things that cannot be used as hard. Along with phobias is also panic disorder, which is basically a strong feeling of wrongness, and when people feel this, they generally go into panic attacks. Panic attacks are kind of like when you, you know, you're upset, you know, you just kind of like ball yourself up and you cry. 
Um, PTSD, though, um, is basically like, you know, something happens in your life. Like, you know, your dad dies off in the war. And, you know, that really affects you for a long time. And, I mean, it couldn't just, it might not be that as well. I mean, it could also be like, I don't know, kind of like a near-death experience. It could also be a kid. Yeah. Whoa! Crap! Ow! Kind of like that. <laughs> you okay? Sort of. Emotionally or physically? Both. Yeah, probably not then. I think I'm going to do there are a few ways to identify anxiety disorders. One option is taking an online screening test through the AD, ADAA website. Just check out the link down below if you want to look into this. So as well as the online screening, there are several symptoms for each type of anxiety that might help you identify it. Uh, some of the, oh, they're right there on top. Trouble falling asleep, muscle tension, irritability, trouble concentrating, get tight easily, restlessness, or feeling an edge, trembling, shortness of breath, fast heartbeat, dry mouth, dizziness, and nausea, some symptoms of GAD. Um, as well, uh, yeah. So, along with GAD, there are the OCD symptoms. Um, I'm gonna read actually right here off of the website. That's what Ben wrote up, read off of. I'm gonna read off of the website where we got this information. Um, uh, links down below for everything, you know, where we got everything, that's all down below as well. Um, some of the symptoms, OCD, um, excessive fears of something or some things. Um, a need for order, so like everything has to be a specific way or there's going to be a problem, kind of like, kind of like with what my brother does. Um, checking actions over and over again, um, ordering things a certain way, along with um, various facial expressions. Sorry, I had to go on to the new page here. Um, such as rapid eye blinking, fa facial grimacing, like weird, we really weird faces over and over again, shoulder shrugging, head jerking, clearing of throat, sniffing, or just grunting over and over again. And here you go with the next set of symptoms for PTSD. Some problems with symptoms of PTSD are flashbacks, so feeling like an event is happening for a second time, trouble sleeping, nightmares, feeling, al feeling alone, outbursts of anger, or feeling guilty, worried, or sad. I think that, yeah, that actually says a long. Oh. Feeling a long? No, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Typo on our part. Um, some of the symptoms of panic disorder. Fast heartbeat, chest or stomach pain, uh, difficulty breathing, weakness or dizziness, sweating, feeling hot or like having a cold chill, or tingly slash numb hands, kind of like feeling like your hands are constantly asleep. And the symptoms of phobias are include panic and fear, rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath, trembling or shakiness, and a strong desire to get away from someone or something. And that's basically it for identifying these types of anxiety. Ben, everything, every time you speak, the bench is vibrating. As we head back, um, let's talk about some of the treatments and therapies for um, anxiety. Um, basically, most types of anxiety can be um, you know, dealt with in therapy by like a trained psychologist or by um, just a mental, any mental health professional really. Research has demonstrated that the type of psychotherapy known as cognitive behavioral therapy is fairly effective in treating anxiety disorders. Psychologists use CBT to help people identify and manage the factors that contribute to anxiety. And you know, of course, different types of anxiety will require different treatments, you know different types of healthcare professionals. So, you know, we're not gonna list out all the types because there's way too many to try. So, you know, if, you know, you think, go talk to a healthcare professional. They're usually, you know, they're usually pretty helpful in this, in this category. We are giving him another shot of the test. We will just leave on this test, let him come in, it's a week later, hopefully now his chest won't be bothering him as much, and he can hopefully get the score he deserves. This time I know I started. I know I know this. Let's do this. That was a lot easier than I thought it was when I did it last week. Veronica, I'm wearing the exact same outfit I wore last week, too. Oh well. Here you go, teacher.
Harold Post again. Uh, yeah, yeah, what? Here's your pass. Now that's better. I might actually get my phone back. Not likely. Hey, you're